Hi friends, I am Arun Giri. You are most welcome to our channel Technical Concept. So our today's topic is reversible and irreversible process. So in this video, we will see what is reversible process and what is irreversible process. And and also we see the applications of reversible and irreversible process. Okay, so let's start our topic without wasting the time. So first of all, we will see reversible process. So reversible process is a hypothetical process and it is an imaginary process. This process does not uh, exist in real world. So question arises, if it is not exist in real world, it is hypothetical, then why we are studying the reversible process? What is the importance of reversible process in our life? Okay. So I am giving answer of this question. Reversible process has maximum efficiency. Okay. It sets the benchmark that more than this amount of energy cannot be produced in any condition. Okay. So let's uh, take one example of thermal power plant. Okay. Suppose we are uh, designing a thermal power plant for any uh, area. Okay. We are brought. We have brought the uh, equipments, uh, fuels, all the uh, accessories for uh, constructing the thermal power plants. Now, how will you know? that how much maximum energy can be generated from this thermal power plant or how much maximum electricity can be generated from this thermal power plant okay so by one imaginary process or by imaginary or hypothetical process reversible process we can calculate how much maximum energy or electricity can be generated from this thermal power plant okay so this reversible process gives the benchmark that more than this amount of energy cannot be produced from this thermal power plant in any condition okay so i hope you understood the application of reversible process okay now frictionless uh, reversible process is a frictionless process due to frictionless it has no energy losses okay and it has uh, 100 percent uh, we can't say 100 percent but it is have maximum efficiency okay now we'll see reversible process uh, with one example with simple example suppose this is a cylinder and this is a piston okay inside this piston and cylinder there is a gas okay now what we are doing we are applying very small amount of uh, pressure on this uh, piston this pist uh, piston and cyl uh, cylinder are frictionless there is no friction between the walls of this piston and cylinder okay so there is no loss of uh, energy due to friction so what we are doing we are uh, keeping some grains of sand on this uh, piston so that that grains apply small pressure on this gas so due to small pressure what happens this uh, gas compresses with in a very small quantity okay and due to small compression what happens very small rise in temperature of this gas so to again come in equilibrium what happens this gas supplies uh, this heat extra heat to this atmosphere this surrounding to bring uh, to again come in equilibrium okay so it supplied the heat q amount of heat to this surrounding to come in equilibrium now what we are doing we again what we are doing we are removing the sand grains from this piston and we are supplying the same amount of heat to this gas so what happens this gas again receives the heat and expands and comes to its original position okay so this is the reversible process that means in uh, reversible process system can be brought to its initial position without any loss of energy okay because there is no friction between this uh, piston and cylinder here loss of energy is due to friction but there is no friction okay so in reversible process we can bring system uh, to its initial position without any loss of energy okay and in reversible post, uh, uh, reversible process system and surrounding always in equilibrium state okay and direction can be reversed by small change in condition okay suppose uh, its a temperature is t uh, pressure is p and uh, and entropy is s so by very small changing in any parameters of this uh, uh, system we can reverse its direction okay because uh, this system is always in equilibrium state okay that is there is no much difference between the system and surrounding parameters so i hope you understood the reversible process 
again we will concept is uh, clear this concept in more detail by taking one one more example suppose this is a chocolate we have kept in refrigerator okay now what we are doing we are removing the chocolate from refrigerator and kept in open area so what happens due to heat this chocolate melts and becomes like this okay if you have again uh, put this melted chocolate in refrigerator and it becomes like this in the refrigerator then it is a reversible process okay but it cannot be happen in real world okay but in irreversible process what happens we are uh, removing the chocolate from this uh, this refrigerator and keeping in uh, atmosphere then it becomes like this and again when we put this melted chocolate in the refrigerator then it again comes in uh, solid form but not in this shape okay so this is irreversible process okay if if this chocolate gains the same shape like this then it is reversible process but when this chocolate converted into solid form but not in the same shape then it is irreversible process so i hope you understood the concept of reversible process and irreversible process okay so this is all about the today's topic so i hope you understood the this topic well and if you like the video then please press the like button and subscribe the channel and share this video with your friends so thanks for watching bye bye